Hey, this is Ben Stout with Ben Stout Construction. We're here at one of our latest projects on Woodrow Street. One of the neat things sometimes working in these Haymount areas and the Haymount homes, you get a little piece of history. One of the cool facts about this house is it used to be Douglas Bird's house. If you know Douglas Bird, he has a high school and middle school named after him here in Fayetteville. Impacted a lot of people over the years. And so, cool little fact about this house. One of the reasons that we wanna talk about this particular house is we're super excited about the renovation we're doing here. This is something that we do quite a bit. Change the kitchen out, remove walls, create more livable space. And this project's a perfect example of that. It's another perfect example of some of the things we run into some sometimes in these older homes. What you have behind us is a HVAC old school vent that was inside of a wall. You know, oftentimes we go upstairs to try to track these things down. This one takes a funny angle upstairs and you really would have known that it was in the wall. So again, when you're working with a contractor, when you're in your house, we have a lot of good things that we can do, but we can't see through walls. These are one of those times where you have to be flexible, understand there's gonna be a little bit of a cost increase. We try to keep that down as much as possible. But this is a great example here of something that's inside of wall. There's another one here that we've already removed. So we actually had two of them, not just one. So just wanted to point out, hey, sometimes in these jobs, best laid plans are on paper. We're gonna go over a few things about that here, what this product will look like when it's done. One of the things we talked about earlier was some of the hidden obstacles we run into. And as you can see, there's a smaller cased opening and you'll see one of the finished products here we're gonna have a much wider opening there so what we're gonna have to do is put a beam you got an engineer size that for us and we'll be actually working on that today getting that beam in place also you'll see as we kind of come back into the kitchen this will now be where the refrigerator goes oftentimes space for refrigerators wasn't accounted to in these older homes so now what we're gonna do we're gonna have a nice space here once we get our HVAC out the way behind us you'll see we're gonna have a gas range micro hood you'll see a lot of the holes wonder what that is no we didn't lose our minds with a sledgehammer we actually have chasing all new wires into the wall getting new uh, outlets installed we have under cabinet lighting we have above cabinet lighting this kitchen is going to be phenomenal when we're done with it and as you keep going in the kitchen here we are totally changing this outlay here what we're looking at doing we're going to have glass cabinets we're going to have them run basically from the floor to the ceiling, less the backsplash area. So we're super excited about the final product. The cabinets are absolutely gorgeous. The granite's impressive. So we're excited about showing you this finished product. So one of the last things I want to talk about, sometimes on these projects, you have kind of cool things that you do for the homeowner. So what we had here previously was the washer dryers, the stackable area. Again, space is oftentimes limited in these houses, but what we're actually coming back with is a kegerator. So we're really excited about that. We don't get something like that on all of our projects. We're excited. We're having to redo some of the plumbing, change some things up, but we're excited to show you that at the end of this job, we're gonna have something pretty cool where there's once a, a stackable washer dryer, we're now gonna have a kegerator with some cabinets, kind of be a little wet bar area. So we're pretty excited about showing you that when we're done with this job. Once we relocate the washer and dryer, we had to have a new location for it. So what you'll see to my left here is a new location for the stackable washer and dryer. This house, as in a lot of the Haymount houses, you really have to value your square footage. You don't always have a lot to work with. You want to stay within that building footprint to keep the cost down. So oftentimes you have to get creative with uh, your locations of washer, dryer, refrigerators. We're really, really proud of this job. We're even going to be more excited when we get the final product done to show you that and show you how you can take it creative layout, use your space effectively to get all the things that you'd want in what would be considered a modern house. Washer, dryer, refrigerator, kegerator. This project has it all. We can't wait to see what it looks like when it's completed.